probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyo. During the time lapse. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. So close to 2 o'clock. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. 30 minutes before Mahiru's arrival. By providing different time, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter. And Showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. And was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 4. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon. The metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. One strike. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head. And with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly. So she probably never knew who killed her. Unfortunately. I'm with that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. To throw us off. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. The mask. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on him. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. The water bottles in the fridge. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. The blood sessions down the drain. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, oh. and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Kyoko was in. Oh, the, discovered the, body. the killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied before he. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off. She was unconscious. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mayu, who lay dead right in front of her. In the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. When she left. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case. Time to make gummy. And placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. I know, she doesn't need gummy. Ironically, yeah. placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion <laughs> toward Hyoko. She doesn't like gummy. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beaches. 
disc leaving their footprints in the sand. So they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily. Which is why the killer used... Bamboo sword. Bamboo sword. The bamboo sword they always carry with them. took the bamboo sword out of its back, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. Wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry yeah. right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. The first day the so when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. Lies. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caught. Isn't that well, right, Peko Peko Yama? Something equally important. Understand? 